The next exercise is the wall exercise. This is done in two parts. The first one is to have the uh, wall behind you. Try to engage as much of your spine on the wall as possible. So again, tucking your pelvis, engaging your core, trying to get your shoulder blades on the wall. And it can start in this position where you've got your scapula and your upper arm and your forearm down firmly against the wall, the chin slightly tucked. And it's just slowly bringing your arms up as far as as you are able without lifting any part of your back up away from the wall. So coming as high as you can, holding that end range, taking a nice good breath in and out, and then slowly coming back down again. This can be done in a sequence of about five repetitions. Again, making sure that you're only going as high as possible without bringing your back away from the wall or if you're unable to breathe. The second part of the exercise is facing the wall. And this time you're going to be facing the wall with the forearms in neutral, and you'll just be sliding up the wall this way, trying to maintain your shoulder blades in depression and uh, bringing them down as you bring the shoulders up. So it'll look like so. And just going to the end range and then sliding back down. The substitution pattern for this would be shoulder elevation. So anytime the scapula and the shoulders start to come up, that's the end of the exercise. The scapula needs to stay down as the arms come up. Repetitions for this can be to 10 repetitions as well.